Welcome, greetings and salutations to episode 12 of this Minecraft world. I really wanted to experiment with a certain block in this episode, so I thought I would take the new redstone block, aka the crafter, and see what I can do with it. The auto crafting machine that I'm building here is more or less a stick auto crafter since when I trade with villagers I really don't want to craft sticks and wood for an hour so I can just pop a few logs in here make wood and make sticks while I'm doing something else in this world it makes it a lot easier than I thought it was and I really didn't know anything of the crafter so if there's a better machine to build there, there is probably a better machine to build. There's probably a hundred better machines to build that's faster or more efficient. But, like I've said before in an earlier episode, I want to challenge myself and see if I can make redstone contraptions without looking at videos of how they work or anything of that sort. And as you can see, this build is really going to help with making large amount of either sticks or wood or pretty much anything that I need a lot of in just a few moments without me even crafting a block of anything. One adjustment I made to the farm was I added a wall to the front of where the crafter spits the wood or sticks or whatever I'm trying to craft. Because it thinks it's so far, it goes over the hopper. So I just built a wall to kind of stop everything from falling onto a pile and despawning. And these crafters aren't just spitting out wood, they're spitting out beads. After that wonderful musical performance by the crafters, I started to decorate the tops of the stumps that I built in, I think, like the third episode. And I'm only now finishing it in episode 12. So yes, this process is extremely delayed. I added a few benches and bookshelves and a lot of plants because I wanted the tops to feel like zen and happy and very lush and green. I wanted it to feel as if you could just take a book out of the bookshelf and read it for hours under the stars by the bench. I really wanted to make it feel like homey and cozy. And I more or less did the same thing on all the tops of the stumps. All of them have benches and all of them have a lot of plants and plant pots. I did decide to make all the benches spruce wood because, I mean, let's be honest, spruce is the king wood of this whole Minecraft world. And because it stands out nicely on the oak and it kind of blends into the spruce background that I used for the bark. I'm not going to show the whole process over and over again, but... The next one that I'm going to do is those three big ones. And I'm going to start with the biggest one of them all. As you can see, I made this long thing, which I'm going to put moss into and not dirt or grass. I'm going to put moss because it looks a bit more lush. And then I'm going to put long flowers on top of that. And in the middle, which it's not the exact middle, it's more or less. I'm going to add a honey bottle with bees in it. I thought of making another house that looks like the starter house but it's a greenhouse and putting the bees in that but I thought the honey bottle with the bees in it might be a bit more new or something I haven't done yet. Now I will say the glass bottle won't get done till quite later in the future so if you are excited for that please tell me in the comments but please be patient because these videos are mostly more or less a month or so delayed 
The top of this stamp is the one that's the most unique or special, not because of the glass bottle and not because of all the benches or plants, but because I made a angle bench that goes like this that I'm showing and I thought it was pretty cool. I did struggle to build it because I've never <laughs> built anything like that before, so the trap doors had to stop at one end and not continue at the other because otherwise they would obstruct the view quite a lot. I added as much as I could fit in on the top of the stump of plant or places where I could put plants so that it would look a bit more green because this is a lot of brown and it looked very colorless so I wanted to add a little bit of more pizzazz. Speaking of pizzazz, you can see I built those arch looking things. That is where I'm going to hang glowberries from. Probably the best block that added in quite a while is the moss block. Without that, nature or terraforming would have looked a lot worse than it looks now. Moss blocks do a lot for builds, trust me. If you haven't used them in any Minecraft build yet, try them out, they work wonders. After adding in all the moss, which you can see here makes it look a lot greener than what it was, otherwise it was a little bit too brown, I started adding in bookshelves and chisel bookshelves. I did try to rotate the chisel bookshelves to make them make more sense of where you would sit and easily take out books and I did add planters or plant pots on top of the bookshelves later on. I really wanted to add candles but since I don't have bees yet I can't really make candles out of the, out of the beeswax. So I am really after this episode I'm going to to try and make that glass bottle in the middle so that I can finally make thousands and thousands of candles. After I finished all the decoration on the biggest top of the biggest stump, I finished the stump part around the auto crafter. And I have shown this process Almost in any video that I've made of building the stumps, and I've done already four of them, but with, including this one. So I'm not going to show again the whole process, because otherwise it's going to get very repetitive after a few more episodes. Just like in every stump, I built the, the floor slash the roof, then I built pieces that jut out or it's mostly the bark that juts out as if it broke off and wasn't cut off by a very big machine and then I place spruce trap doors and spruce slabs on some of the pieces that jut out and after that I added in benches and those planters that I talked about and I also added in a few books and chisel bookshelves. And I'm sure, of course, some of you saw those two chests sticking out of the floor. Don't worry, I added moss carpet over that that covered everything up. And I added moss carpet to all the other stumps as well, because it really made it look even more green than what it was. And it made the benches and the bark that juts out stand out a bit more than what it did before. And after I was done adding most of the decorations on this stump, I started adding books in all of the chisel bookshelves that I so far had put down on the three stumps. And there was no particular order that I put the books in. I just wanted to make it seem like people have been reading there, but that it's still full enough that you can just grab and start reading. After I added all the books in the chisel bookshelves, I added the load berries to those arch thingies. While I was decorating, I did decide to hollow out the stump as much as I could, 
because the roots that grew out was solid inside but if i was building in a humongous tree stump i would hollow out as much as i could to save on space so that is what i did and on the automated crafter build or stump i added one of the roots coming out because it looked a little bit plain just standing there so i decided to give it a bit more detail just like i did in the other one for all the detail pieces on the root and on the stump itself i used spruce trap doors spruce slabs spruce buttons and for a bit more color i used the mushroom blocks that i made or that i chose as mangrove slabs which has a nice red color and just because root is in its name, I used the mangrove roots on the roots that came out of the stump. And of course, just like I have done before, I added the mushrooms by using iron bars for the stems. And of course, like I've mentioned before, the mangrove slabs for the tops of the mushrooms. I did try to play around with different directions and sizes of the mushrooms, but they mostly stayed the same. I know that I gave the first stump that I built three roots that came out of it, but for this one I only gave one. And I don't think that's a bad thing because I didn't want this stump particularly to distract from the other stamps because they were a bit more important in the story that I want to tell later on. And now that I've shown you the process of decorating these stamps again, I'm not going to show this big stamps process, I'm just going to show the end of it and then you'll see how it looks. And I will say the bigger shorter stamp is by far my favorite because I, the texturing that I did was like chef's kiss and I just love it. I like how it looks and it looks good. While I was placing the flowers in the plant pots it started raining and the ambience was just perfect so enjoy the silence and the rain for a bit. Here you can see the detail that I put on the shorter, bigger stump and now you can see what I mean of it just looks right. I like how the roots came out and I like how the mushrooms came out and everything. Everything that I did on the stump was good. It was amazing and I liked it. I wouldn't change anything. While I was struggling to go up on a ladder, I wanted to come up here to show you the plain stumps and to show you what I did on on the top as you can see it's quite flowery and it's very naturey and lush and I like how it came out I used a lot of the same flowers but by far it looks good by now but these two stumps are still quite plain and I want to do a little transition to show you the finished products here you can see them finished, detailed and everything and I will say they came out just as good as the bigger one. While I was decorating them I realized that some of the roots of the trees wouldn't even be touching the ground. They would kind of be lifting up as if the ground was washed away and erosion happened and such. So. I wanted some of the roots to be off of the ground and this one I made arch from one stump to the other. 
I did give the longer stump a root that is also off of the ground, but I don't know if it will we'll make a road that will go through it or just around it, but I kind of like this stump stop doesn't have anything special on it, but I will say it has the best view from here to the starter base, even to the other stumps. It has a gorgeous view. You can see quite far from it because it's so tall. Here you can see how everything looks so far, the roots and everything and the mushrooms even. Now you can understand when, what I meant with the mushrooms give a bit of color. Even the greenery on the tops give quite a lot of color and it looks a bit better than just it being brown. Because otherwise it looks a bit depressive almost. Climbing up here, it's also very plain, but I will say the best part of all of these builds is this route particularly, because it arches over from one stump to the other, and you can. I'm going to build a road that goes under it, so you'll have you'll have to walk under it, and I really want to hang a bit more lanterns from it and make it look magical and gorgeous. But that is all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a like and while you're down there, please consider subscribing. And I want to thank you, you all for all the support and all the comments and likes that you give. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day and remember to take care of yourself, rest and I hope you I hope you have drank at least a glass of water today because otherwise go drink right now even if it's in the middle of the night go drink